Welcome in everyone to day six of the 2024 Lincoln Challenger. Joining me now, our first winners on the day and through to their first Challenger final as a duo. It's Robert Cash, JJ Tracy. Gentlemen, congratulations on the victory. I'll start with you today, JJ. Straight set victory that I know, a little bit of a blip at the end of set number two, but talking through what you guys did well today and how you were able to advance. Yeah, I mean, I think it was just a lot of what kind of always happens. Like, at the start of the first set I have, it's probably the worst tennis I've played <laughs> maybe the last year. and. Uh, we got broken, but we Robert had some great returns. We got right back, and then you know Robert had a one game blip maybe in the in the second set. And we picked each other up, and I don't know conditions were tough, and I think we read our, read the team well, and we stuck together, stuck to our game plan. So I think it worked out in the end. Yeah, no, I, I'll give you a chance to comment on if it was a blip on your end, Robert, or not. But I'm also curious. Obviously, you guys played a season together this past year. How does that continuity? How well you know one another? How does that help as you compete in all these matches on court? Uh, well, sorry, yeah, we had a little, uh, I had a blip, he had a blip. Start, he's throwing, <laughs> throwing me under the bus a little. Uh, no, it's, it means a lot, because, like, with, with our blips, with, like, the struggles, it's always one person's picking the other person up when someone's playing bad. Uh, he's always got my back, I always have his back, so we're, we stay together so well as a team out there. Uh, we want to compete, we want to be out there. Uh, we'll, we'll get into it with anybody, you know, like college tennis, we're getting after it, so we want to be there. Uh, we're always with each other, staying together as a team, always communicating. So those little things help so much in the match. Yeah, no, you, we see that between you two. I even saw after the match again, talking through some of the things you might have wanted to clean up. And JJ, I'm curious, how important is that communication when it comes to doubles? Obviously, big serve, volleys help, but where does the communication part come in? Yeah, I mean, it's important. Like, I mean, like you just noted on the experience we have together, and, you know, I think it's important that we're great friends, too, being able to, you know, maybe talk a little crap and be able to take it. So, I mean, I, like I said, I was playing back in first set, and, you know, he can see it when I can. He's like, you know, you're doing this and this. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. So, like, it, it's good to have that experience, and, you know, it's almost like having a second coach out there. Like, I know when, what he's messing up when he does it, and the same vice versa with me. So, it's yeah. very important. There's also, I watch when you guys play deciding points. Pretty often it goes to that Tracy side. Is that just a choice you guys make? Is that something you take on a match-by-match -match basis? And I'm curious, Robert, how being decisive in that moment, saying, no, this is what we're doing, we have that plan. How does that happen? Uh, yeah, we're just, whoever, we're playing the hot hands. Whoever's sure. returning better that game, we're going to give it to. Um, and then just sticking to our call. Like, we don't want to have regrets. If JJ misses a return at Deuce, I'm completely okay with him taking it, taking a swing. Uh, confident, me taking it, confident him taking it, so we're just playing on hand. Yeah, and obviously, again, for the two of you, Newport final already since leaving college. Now it's your first challenger final as well. JJ, what does that say about your level? How confident are you two as a parent? Yeah, I mean, I think it's been a great couple months, especially coming off the NCAA title, too. So, I mean, we're riding high with a lot of confidence, but I also feel like, you know, in these couple months past the NCAAs, I don't really think we've hit our top level, and I don't think we've played a match you know, close to how we have in the season. So, you know, maybe it's the two sets, maybe it's adjusting to, you know, different styles on the on the tour, but uh, I think we have a couple levels to go for sure. Would you agree with that, Robert? Definitely. I think we got a, at least another two gears in us. Even more, I've seen us play better. We play better in, mat in, in matches before. We play better in practice. So I know we have it in us, but finding ways to win, and that's what matters. Yeah, no, it's scary to think there's another level to go. By the way, I completely agree with you guys. And Again, I've seen it in person. I know how, how well you can both play well. With that said, as you know, we try to have a question of the day for all of you. Keep things spicy, and I'm sure you guys are looking forward to going to rest, go uh, get prepared for your first challenger final. But before I let you do that, our question of the day is going to relate to racket string tension. Because, again, I like to nerd out with you guys and get into it. If I offer you the choice, you could string the racket at 20 pounds or 70 pounds, which would you guys pick and why? I'll go 20. Yeah? I'll go 20. I used to play at like 38. So. Really? Yeah. Why? Just because, I mean, I've seen your racket speed. It actually doesn't not make sense to me, but what what led you to go that loose? Like, I think it was just like, I was young and I was frail. So like <laughs> 16, 17, I was playing at like 38, 40. So. What are you at now? I'm up to 48. Now. Okay, yeah. I, the muscles are a little bit bigger. What about you, Robert? <laughs> Which way do you go? Uh, I don't know. I'd probably go... Probably go 70 or, ah, my arm might fall off. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, whatever I can volley with and serve well with. Probably the 20, like he said. Is that something? Get the big pop, but. Yeah. Uh, Do you guys play around with that yeah. during the, like, is that something you dive into, like, hey, should we change the tension? Is that something you're monitoring during the week, or are you pretty confident with it? Uh, depending on the condition, sometimes I'll adjust. I think he adjusts the same, like, by a pound or two here yeah. and there, up or down. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, we're just kind of playing the conditions, usually stick to, we both have 48, so yeah. you should just stick to that. I like that. Well, they say the team that sticks together in tension makes it through to the Challenger final, and that's obviously what we saw I've heard this that week. Too. Yeah, 
Robert Cash, Jamie Tracy. Thank Congratulations, gentlemen. Good job. Well done.